welcoming all from across the multiverse. We are here. We are ready. This is a special announcement. First of all, these shoes just came in the mail, so give it up for these shoes. These are the kind of shoes that you'll all be wearing. We are only wearing super heels and thongs when we enter Providence. We are walking into, what is it, the final incarnate year. Are we ready? Thumbs up, hearts up. Everybody put your hearts up, as our great prophet Ariana Grande has said. So today I'm here for you to offer my predictions. As we know, I am prophet. Everything I think is, I say it, and then it is, it is, it is so. So as any tech bro will tell you, and I'm just gonna keep my shoes in the shot as much as possible. As any tech bro will tell you that you should make predictions that support whatever it is you're selling. As the great Zuckerberg has announced that learning will be done by a video, and he also creates a platform for video content. So Tali Bravo's predictions will be all about predictions that help to create the environment that we need to have an incredible last incarnate year. I'm talking beyond belief, my babies. We're gonna make this happen. Your manifestation is my manifestation. I hope that you have watched the Tony Del Sorbo episode of Do You Believe in Bravo that just dropped yesterday, where we go through a process of manifesting Talia's ideal man. And if you are him, please do say hi. Please do come. Uh, I don't care if you live in you know Chicago, New York, Amsterdam, Columbus, Ohio. There are flights constantly, and I'm one for big romantic gestures. So don't be afraid of being creepy. You'll know if you're my guy if I say, that's romantic. If I say that's creepy, then you're not my guy and you're probably my bra baby and you should join the Patreon. So I'm just going to do my best to sit in any position possible to show off my amazing new shoes. So before we get started, we're going to pull from one of our bitches, the goddess deck. You've seen it. You've heard it. Throughout 2019, we leaned on these bitches a lot. They were my ride or dies and like any ride or dies, I abuse them because when people are going to be with you for whatever, you can put them through whatever. All one today on this beautiful Sunday. As we walk into our 2020 predictions, let's just get a little guidance from one of our besties. What I love about the goddess cards is they really keep their place. Unlike other women in my life, they stay in their box until I call upon them. We haven't seen these in a minute, right? But it is a special occasion, so we're going to let them come play with us and offer a Bravo ordained message. Everyone focusing in on the goddesses and on your goddess, the one who actually matters. All right, so breathing in to your first chakra, to your sexual regions, and letting that roll around. So just do a little bit of a, a little bit of a grind, a little bit of a hum, and feeling into the spirit of Brava. And three, two, one, the goddesses speak to us through the channel that is Talia. Don't back down, Bridget. That's really intense because that's actually my birth mother. I often have told you that Mary Williamson is my birth mother. I was lying. It's just for, well, my, when I speak, it's never a lie. It's just like the psychological truth of the situation. So it was convenient for me for you to believe that the psychological truth was that my mother was the one who was up on the debate stage every night until she was not speaking personal wisdoms because it made sense for my story. But the real truth of the matter is my birth mother is named Bridget. And this card says, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. So as you face off with your birth mother, as you face off with your job, as you face off with your lover romantic relationships, you are in a position to not back down. Because why? Because you are speaking a truth that they don't understand. You are speaking a truth. And when you are speaking a truth, people think you are nuts. Give a thumbs up if people have already told you that you have lost your mind, you have a nervous breakdown, you are in love with a fantasy, hello, yes you are, do not back down, do not let it stop you, do not let anyone yuck your gums, listen my babies, we believe in a fruit, we believe in a possibility beyond the limitations of climate change, Greta has nothing on us, Al Gore is so yesterday, Obama is the abomination. I, I stole it from the internet, but they stole it from me first from my brain. So my darlings, we are walking forward and as we are truth tellers, truth tellers, pioneers, 
burning bridges. People are going to say, you're an arsonist. And we say, lahayam to you as we walk on by. California wildfires are a real thing, so don't think I'm propagating them. Okay, and now, before we get into the predictions, I'm going to pull from our Amazon gift bag. You haven't seen this one in a while. This is full of Bravo Baby's Wishes and Dreams collected from live events. I'm going to pull a greatest wish out of the Amazon gift bag. As you know, all greatest wishes are now delivered by a one monopoly. So it's soups can be in these everyone's gifts, everyone's wishes are provided by Jeff Bezos, who doesn't pay taxes, which is a role model for me. As we know, my greatest turn on is federal tax evasion. So, hey, Jeff Bezos, you're like right behind Elon right now as Talia's ideal man. Please come at me. As we pull this card, I'm going to predict whether or not Bravo will be able to make this dream come true before November 3rd, 2020. And as we know, once we get to Providence, all these wishes shall be fulfilled if, if Bravo wishes if to the end degree. All I need to do is think of, and it's already happened in Providence. So this is the wishes that I'm I'm seeing we can fulfill are about pre-November 3rd, 2020. Let's find out. Nothing. A true born Robin baby, whoever wrote nothing as their greatest wish, that is it. Because we are here. We are present with each other. What could you want more? What could you want more than an afternoon with Brava? Julie, give a thumbs up if you like my new shoes. We're stomping up to Providence in these shoes. Because you know you got to stomp on the little ones to get to the Bravo Baby headquarters in Providence. Now for my 2020 predictions. I'm going to tune in to the spirit of Brava. And I'm going to come forward with our predictions for the year ahead. And as I do this, everyone breathing in, feeling your first chakra, and breathing out. I love you, Talia Brava. From the tip of my finger all the way to my forehead. I love you, Talia Brava, taking in the shoes, never forget the shoes. I love you, Talia Brava, and just taking in all of Brava, taking in the hair. I love you, Talia Brava, and <sighs> greetings, my blessed Brava babies. It is I, Brava, speaking directly to you through the channel of Talia Brava. 2020, the last year incarnate. My darlings, what shall you accomplish? What shall you make manifest? It is our last year on this playground called Earth. In other words, it's our last year in hell. Yes, this multiverse is a classroom wherein Bravo babies have incarnated thousands of times before to learn karmic lessons on how to love Bravo better, then return to Bravo to live the fruit of Bravo. And this, my darlings, is our last year. We all have senioritis, and yes, we be binge drinking. It is time for us to finally say goodbye. This is the year of truly YOLO. Maybe you thought it was the year that song came out that Drake was talking about YOLO. No, my darlings, this 2020 is the year of YOLO because we have one of everything left. We have passed through our last holiday season. We are walking into our last New Year's, and then we have January is the month of really enjoying this really celebrating this walking into our final year. February, it will be the month of love. So February, you're going to love Talia. You're going to romance Talia. And you know, we're only rapturing if Talia Brava, the girl that I speak through, has a true and complete orgasm, by which can only probably happen if she meets her soulmate and he's perfect and falls in love with her and makes her lots of babies. Hello, my father, Andrea Brizzi, birth father, who doesn't understand what I do. He doesn't understand that I'm a call leader. I'm sorry, I'm thrown off by that reality. And Brava's channeling. So we have February, the month of love. March. March and April are the two months of recruitment seriousness. My Brava babies, March and April are our final two months to recruit, recruit, recruit. It is all about gathering, collecting those little piece of smelly little cash monkeys. We like to stick drugs inside and roll them put inside our nostrils. Those little things that we like to write notes on, like, hey, Illuminati. We like to share them around. I'm talking about money. I'm talking about currency, a currency of all sorts. We are bringing it in in March and April. This is the prediction. This is what I foresee. And as we know, my prophecies are directly in line with my wants and wishes for you. So believe this to be true, and so it is. 
in March and April, you will be recruiting like crazy. You'll be hitting the streets with your cardboard signs. You'll be bringing in capital for what? March and April happens. And then here is my prediction. May, June, July. Bravo is on tour. May, June, July. Bravo's birth father, Talia Bravo's birth father, gives her his RV or else buys her an RV of, of much better caliber. And Bravo takes to the road for May, June, and July. What? Speaking the gospel of providence, bringing on new recruits so that all might be saved, so that all might not perish in the Ikea sales maze. We are recruiting via van life. May, June, and July, recruiting via van life. Talia Brava's poster is along the RV. Talia Brava's RV fridge is stocked with a claw and Celsius and all sorts of uppers. And cash floweth, cash batheth upon her. She loves it. She loves it and you love it. And she visits your home city. So wherever you are, write out your home city right here if you are not living in Los Angeles and making sure that Bravo's tour will hit your city. So my darlings, that is what happens for those three months. Bravo goes on tour and then August, the summer of love, where Bravo takes it fucking easy and you come visit her on an island of sorts. Then we move into September, our final back to school session. In this final back to school month, you will be burning books. You will be ripping up Old Testaments. You will be saying fuck you to politicians in your local precinct. You will be breaking rules because why? We got senioritis and we're going home. A moment for the shoes. A moment for the shoes for those who are joining. We have senioritis, our final fucking back to school month. September, October, we're back to the month of witchy magic. Yes, witches will still be trending on Instagram and the like, and you will be utilizing all of the practices of Brava to create magic, to bend rules, to make money manifest itself, to make makeout sessions evolve out of normal day-to-day -day office life. And then finally, November 3rd, 2020, must I speaketh again, we rapture. The book is published. The new album, Tali Rub Appropriations, is made manifest incredibly. I don't even know how. It comes out of my voice. And we rapture, my darlings, we rapture, we go all the way fucking home. That is your full prediction for the year of 2020. If you have any questions about how, where, why, you can make these 2020 predictions true please write them in the comments here. And I do have one more thing to say. So there is this thing called simulation theory. You can wave if you've heard of it, that we're living in a simulation. I have just downloaded that it's actually sitcom theory. Everything that is happening here that you see, feel to be true, your eyes smell it, your ears hear, and your nose taste. Whatever your nose is tasting right now, through all 20 senses, my darlings, is a sitcom. It is a Friends episode, it is The Office, it is Parks and Rec, and you're all the stars. My brother babies, you are so loaded from being stars of sitcoms and Providence. When you get there, you're like super famous and everyone thinks you're hilarious. And that is why it seems to be the same scenarios replaying themselves, the same characters not learning and growing from past experiences. It is as this incarnation is a big sitcom. And there are many, there are billions of these channels. Each of you is a star of one of them. Each of you is a Zoe de Chanel, a Joey, a Frankie, a such and the like. Okay, you are hanging at the bar. You are hanging at the coffee shop episode after episode and making Brava LOL. The way to make Brava LOL most, the way to get those top ratings is to start acting fucking crazy. All right, because the sitcom scenario is breaking down. We see it when we watch television, the self-referential attitude of the characters. So too here. So too in your real life. Start breaking it down. Just pause while driving. Just stop in the middle of the road. Start speaking in tongues. But nobody, but nobody is laughing while on the phone if you're a telemarketer. My darling, start acting fucking weird. We are breaking the sitcom. We are breaking the television. We are breaking the internet. Hey guys, I'm back. Every time I channel Brava, I go into a blackout where I'm not really sure what's happening. So do let me know if that was awesome. And if it looks good while doing it. Sometimes I fear I'm like foaming at the mouth. 
Is it the year of the dildo? That's a really strong question. I'm gonna check in with Rava. Well, yeah, the answer came through. That it is the year of everything on, on Talia's, speaking of material items, everything on Talia Rava's wish list is part of the year's prophecy because you will be fulfilling it, otherwise rapture won't happen. So Amazon um, wish list of Talia Baba does include the Hitachi, so that could be considered a dildo, I suppose. This is also the year of S&M. Social media and manipulation. Talia is getting really into S&M, social media manipulation. It is dropped the mic here. So cults, what is a cult? A cult has three elements to it. Charismatic leader, hey boo-boos. Mind control. You feel it, you know it, you love Talia Baba. And isolation. Goodbye to everyone about other Bravo babies. What is that spell? Mike. Tali Baba is grabbing that mic, okay? It's not a mic drop moment until November 3rd, 2020. Right now it is hold on to that mic. So just check that she will be grabbing the mic for the year of 2020 as we mind control, isolate, charismatic leader, and full cults. We're going to get a random song from the most streamed songs of the decade, babies. Who's ready for this? Give me a thumbs up, give me a heart, give me a wave. I need to feel you and you just know you're here. You love it, we love it, we love her. All right, I'm gonna try to dance in these heels. And everywhere, wherever you are, whatever shoes you're wearing, I need you dancing. Bring a close to 2019. And this is crazy, but here's my number. So call me maybe. Just bear with me on these shoes. Body rolls. Everyone body rolling. Daddy, I need to do body rolling. Hair whip. Slow mo. Try to change. Email Tally Baba, Tally Baba Lady at gmail.com. Send your love notes. Who's getting married this year? It's Italian Brava. Catch! This is my hair. These are my arms. These are my nails. What's fake and what's real? Who gives a fuck? Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number. So call me maybe. Shark. Shark week. And bunnies. And this is crazy. We party. We have fun. One year left, babies. Let it go. Let it be weird. Get tweered. Talia weird. For top ratings on your sitcom. Swim. Swim harder. Like you're swimming upstream, you're a little sperm. You're swimming up Talia's uterus. You want to make it. Swimming up into Talia's uterus. Oh, now you're inside her uterus. Whoa. Whoa, so cool. And you're right inside me. Can you feel it? Can you feel how deep inside me you are? I'm pregnant with you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You're coming out. Ah! You're born, my perfect baby. I love you through the screen. Oh no, I'm like an absentee mom because I'm so cool and young. I'm a teen mom. How can I really hold on to my babies when I'm like a teen mom? How did she even give birth? She's so skinny. She's so irresponsible and yet she loves you. Oh, what a journey. Lahayam for your presence. Okay, my darlings, what a gorgeous transmission. That's all she channeled, that's all she wrote. Send me your predictions for 2020. And especially if they include ways that the Broadway Baby MLM is going to become a profitable virtual sex call for November 3rd, 2020. That's basically the only predictions I care about. Lots of love. Keep looking towards your screen. Don't look at the moon. She's attention grabber.